American Fairy Tales, Episode 2, The Hungry Fox and the Boastful Suitor, or The Fox and the Young Iroquois. Once upon a time, there was a fox. His name was Fox. Fox was out for a walk. He was hungry. He wanted to find some food. He had been looking for food. He had been hunting. But he had found no food. He had not eaten for several days. He was very hungry. He was getting pretty thin. Too thin. His stomach was making scary noises. Someone was singing a song. The fox hid behind a bush. The song grew louder. A heron feather appeared over a hill. Just one feather. The fox got ready to jump on the bird. But the feather got even higher. It was on a gustoa, the headdress of an Iroquois man. The Iroquois are a tribe of Native Americans. The man was riding a horse. Fox was afraid. Iroquois liked fox fur and would kill foxes to get it. Fox tried to make himself smaller. The man got closer. The song became clearer. The fox could understand it. No one is braver than hair and feather, and I should know that for I am he. No one wears nicer clothing. No one is better at fishing. If you doubt this, look at my catch and see. The man was named Heron Feather. He was going to meet a young woman he liked. The young woman's name was Swaying Reed. He wanted to impress her. He wanted to impress her mother. He wanted to ask her to marry him. He needed to dress nice to impress them, and he needed a good song to impress them. Fox didn't care about any of that. He could smell fish. Heron Feather had a large bag full of fish. Fox forgot how scared he was. His stomach said that he must eat, and soon. Fox stopped hiding. Fox laid down. He pretended to be dead. The Iroquois man came closer. Heron Feather was trying to add more words to his song. What rhymes with fishing? he asked himself. He almost didn't see Fox. But he was just lucky enough to see Fox. Or maybe... I should say he was unlucky enough to see Fox. What's this? Heron Feather asked. He got off his horse. He poked the fox with a stick. Fox did not move. Fox continued pretending to be dead. It's dead for sure, Heron Feather said. He picked it up. He smelled it. It has not been dead long. The fox only smells a little. Fox got angry. He showed his teeth. He did not like to hear that he smelled, but Heron Feather did not notice. Should I skin it now? Heron Feather asked himself. Fox's eye twitched. He did not want to be skinned. No, the Iroquois man said. I do not want my clothes to get dirty. He put the fox in the bag with the fish. Swaying Reed's mother will be very happy to see that I am such a good hunter. Her mother will be amazed that I caught so many fish. She will be excited to see I caught a fox. She will let Swaying Reed marry me. 
he began singing again. No one is braver than hair and feather, and I should know that for I am he. No one wears nicer clothing. No one is better at fishing. No one is better at hunting. If you doubt this, look at my catch and see. As Heron Feather sang, Fox chewed on the bag. Fox made a hole in the bag with his teeth. Fish fell out one by one. When all the fish were gone, Fox jumped out. Fox ate and ate. He could barely move. He waddled back to his hole. He would not need to eat again for many days. Heron Feather arrived at Swaying Reed's village. He rode before Swaying Reed's mother's home. He sang, and a crowd formed. He sang of the many fish he had caught. He had actually traded his mother's moccasins for them. He sang of the fox he had hunted and trapped. He did not know the fox had let itself be caught. Swaying Reed and her mother came out of the house. Heron Feather grabbed his bag. He held it up. It was empty. There was a big hole in its side. Heron Feather stopped singing. He turned his horse around. He rode home. He learned that finding a fox is one thing. Skinning it is another. Maybe the moral of the story is, don't count your fox furs until you skin them. Or don't brag, do. Or it's easy to trick the young. The end.